हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड नमस्ते एवरी वन आई एम दबल सर एंड अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम योर लिटरेचर पार्ट चैप्टर नंबर फोर दैट इज बिपिन चौधरी लैप्स ऑफ मेमरी एंड द राइटर ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज सत्यजीत रे राइट सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी अबाउट अ मैन राइट नेम्ड बिपिन चौधरी ओके हु वॉज ऑल्सो नोन एज बिपिन बाबू who is faced with a very unique problem right uh, where he loses his memory uh, of one and only incident right and the year and of a particular year that year was the year of 1958 right so uh, he had not lost memory uh, regarding any other thing uh, just one and only incident and that incident as i said was of the year 1958 when he had a trip to ranchi with his friends right so everyone except uh, mr bipin babu recalls or remembers about his trip to ranchi right so he is very much worried about it as he is not able to uh, recall about this trip and uh, as and when the story moves ahead right in the later part he discovers that uh, actually he had not lost his memory but it was a trick played on him right uh, and that trick was played just to give him a punishment right so who had given the punishment so the punishment was actually given by one of his friend named chunilal right he was his old friend uh, who did not have good luck at uh, times and he was facing financial problem and he did not have a proper work right so when ever he went to bipin babu for any kind of help he would try to ignore him right so that was the major reason uh, why he had planned a punishment uh, for bipin babu and uh, he wanted to teach him a lesson for not helping a friend in times of need right so that is what all the story is about and at the end even to uh, bipin babu realizes that he did not actually have any kind of problem it was just a trick which was played on him okay so that is all what the story is about uh, now i'll try to explain you the story in detail okay so as i said the main character of this story is uh, bipin choudhary who was known as bipin babu he had a, a habit of reading the books like uh, ghost stories suspense thrillers right so uh, every day after the work he went to uh, a book stall which was named as kali charan uh, on every monday right after he completed his work to buy the books or to purchase the books and he would buy two to three books uh, which would last up to one week right then every week he used to uh, stock up more and more books right so and uh, uh, this was one point that he had the reading habit then he used to live alone and did not have many close friends and uh, uh, he was not fond of ideal talk that means he always uh, used to uh, talk just for the work purpose that means he always kept work to work he did not uh, like talking with other people ideal without any kind of work right and on one such monday as i said every monday he used to visit the book stall to purchase the book so on one such monday when he was at the kali charans that is the book stall uh, looking for his books a man named right at that book stall there was a man named parimal ghosh okay who addressed him as if he knew bipin babu right so that parimal ghosh uh, talked or spoke with bipin babu as if he knew him right but uh, bipin babu didn't recognize that person right he said i don't know you right so the man who was that man name was parimal ghosh uh, he told bipin babu or he claimed that uh, he had seen bipin babu in 1958 when bipin babu 
had visited Ranchi, right? But B- Bipin Babu had never been to Ranchi, right? Uh, this person, this fellow, whose name is Parimal Ghosh, he is saying that I I know you and I met you at Ranchi in 1958. But according to Bipin Babu, he had never been to Ranchi. He had never gone to Ranchi. Okay. Uh, he actually wanted to go to Ranchi, but despite uh, wanting to visit the place, uh, he had not been able to do so. Right. So he told that person that he had mistaken him. That means Bipin Babu is saying uh, this Parimal Ghosh that uh, you are making a mistake. But the man knew uh, quite a lot of things, right? Uh, many things or many details about Bipin Babu and did not uh, stop talking. He kept on giving details about Bipin Babu, right? So Bipin Babu uh, immediately left the shop and uh, went on a drive along the Ganga river because he was very much worried. Uh, he felt that uh, if this person is giving all the details about me, then how is it possible that I don't remember about such a kind of trip, right? And uh, he was a very hard working fellow. Bipin Babu was a very hard working man who had a very responsible job, right? He had a very good job at a big firm and uh, it was very hard for him. Right, it was very difficult for him to believe that he could not remember such an important event of his life and that too uh, from just six to seven years ago. Right, because working in a big firm has a big responsibility and not remembering a event just before which had took place just before six to seven years was a uh, totally a worrisome. Uh, thing for Bipin Babu. He was very much worried about it, right? So he did not want to uh, think about uh, this event and the men and uh, he said uh, that he should stop thinking about uh, uh, imagining what had happened and all those things, right? So he did not want to think about what the man had said, that is what Parimal Ghosh had said, right? But uh, then too, he could not stop uh, thinking about that thing. He wanted to stop thinking, but he could not do so, right? So he thought of uh, visiting his friend named Dinesh Mukherjee, uh, who the man said, right? Uh, Parimal Ghosh had said that uh, he was there. That means his friend named Dinesh Mukherjee was there on the trip with him, right? So he thought of asking or confirming about this trip to Dinesh Mukherjee who was actually his friend, right? But uh, he did not visit him, right? Because uh, he did not want to feel embarrassment, right? Face to face. So he decided to give him a call. So later on, according to Bipin Babu, uh, he had attended puja in Kanpur and stayed at his friend Haridas. Right. When there was a puja at Kanpur, he had resided or stayed at his friend Haridas residence. Right. So uh, he had uh, he thought of confirming with him, but uh, remembered that his this friend uh, whose name was Haridas, right, had moved to Japan and uh, he did not have. That means Bipin Babu did not have his new address. Right. So he was. Uh, uh, thinking that what to do and what not to do, he was very much worried. But later on, uh, he calmed himself, right? And uh, uh, after having dinner, when uh, he went into his bed, right, uh, with his new book, he got a bit relaxed, right? But uh, immediately on the next day, when he went to his office before lunch, uh, uh, he thought of clearing this thing right uh, this thing was continuously going on in his mind so he thought of uh, clearing about this thing uh, on call with Dinesh Mukherjee because as I said he did not want to get embraced face to face right so Dinesh when he called Dinesh Mukherjee even Dinesh Mukherjee also told him that they both uh, had went to Ranchi right 
on a trip in October 1958 and when he heard this thing from his friend he got more worried right so on that very evening an old friend of bipin babu uh, named chunilal visited him and uh, as i said in the introduction that bipin or uh, chunilal uh, was out of luck and he was facing financial crisis and uh, he uh, went to bipin babu's place to ask for help or to ask for any kind of job right but uh, as i said that uh, bipin choudhury or bipun babu uh, did not like to talk with any person ideal without any reason so he always tried to ignore him right so when this chunilal is visiting this place uh, bipin babu knew that he had uh, come to ask for uh, help right for a job uh, so bipin babu had already told his uh, servant that when he comes or visits right then uh, inform him that i am busy or i am not at home and uh, inform him that there is a very little hope for his job right so he had already told his servant to send him away uh, but suddenly uh, he realized that uh, he could ask chunilal right because he was his good friend right so he realized that he could ask chunilal about the trip right and when asked to chunilal uh, he too remembered about the trip and he claimed he had himself booked ticket for him for ranchi right and uh, bipin babu after hearing this accepted that he had himself been to uh, he had himself been too much working hard and uh, that is the reason it might be possible that he had uh forgotten or missed that event and therefore he decides to visit a doctor right so he visits a physician uh named dr chanda and uh, when inquired about the problem uh this case was out of his area right dr chanda could even not understand what was the problem with bipin babu and uh, uh this case was different for him totally and it was out of his area of experience and expertise so dr chanda uh, suggested him to visit ranchi again right and as per his suggestion uh, bipin babu booked a first class ticket uh, to ranchi and as soon as he stepped out of the train at ranchi he realized that he had never been to this place right uh, when he went over there he saw all the things nearby and he realized that he had never been to this place uh, when he went to visit hudro falls at ranchi uh, he was found unconscious right by two gujarati gentlemen uh, who had to uh, who had come to picnic uh, with a group and uh, on walking up Uh, bipin babu or bipin choudhury realized that there was no hope left for him and uh, he came back to calcutta because uh, uh, even at visiting ranchi he could not recognize or re- uh, remember or he could not recall anything right so he lost all the hope and he returned back to calcutta and upon reaching home uh, he got or he received a letter uh, from chunilal who was his old friend and in the letter chunilal had informed uh, mr bipin choudhury about how he had plotted the entire punishment for him for uh, unfilling towards uh, an old friend when he was out of luck right so as i said in the beginning that uh, in reality or in actual sense uh, bipin choudhury had not lost any part of his memory or any part of his life uh, he had not forgotten but this was actually a plotting right this was actually a trick uh, which was accepted by chunilal for giving punishment to his friend bipin babu Uh, as he did not show any kind of uh, 
सेंटिमेंट्स और फीलिंग्स टूवर्ड्स हिज हार्ड लक और बैड टाइम राइट सो देर फॉर यू वॉन्टेड टू टीच हिम अ लेसन राइट एंड देर फॉर बिपिन बाबू रियलाइज इज हिज मिस्टेक एंड वेन द डॉक्टर विजिट्स बिपिन बाबू राइट बिपिन बाबू टेल्स हिम दैट एवरीथिंग इज फाइन विथ हिज मेमरी नाउ and uh, he wants to get a pain killer for uh, his hip pain actually when he had fallen at hudro fall he had got injured so he is saying that i want a pain killer for my hip pain and uh, he is saying that uh, to the doctor that everything is all right and when hearing about this thing uh, the doctor calls it a unique case why he says that it is a unique case because uh, the doctor thought that uh, just by visiting the place which or the event which had forgotten by bipin babu he remembered about it again and now he was absolutely all right so therefore he tells it a unique case in this way uh, bipin babu realizes his mistake and uh, that is how the story gets over and we will also end our lecture over here and i thank you everyone for watching my video